Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This will be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial for this modern house design in Revit. Let's get started. So let's start by opening up a new architecture template. So I just want to change the quick access toolbar. I want to place it right here. So there's a drop down menu here and then show below ribbon. So now it's accessible. I also want to save this file. So just navigate to the location you want to save the file and let's call this modern house design and then save. Uh, before we save actually, let's change this to 5, press OK and then save. So to start, let's go to our south elevation. Let's add in our levels. I'm going to add four levels. So for level one to level two, I want this to be 3000 millimeters. After that, you can type in LL for short or just click on this icon and 3000 again up to level 3 and then lastly click this level and level 4 so level 4 will be 7000 So next thing, let's go back to level 1 and let's add in our grids. So click from architecture, this grid or GR for short. Let's add in number 1. Press escape. Select this again and you could type in CO for short or click this icon. To copy this will be around 5800 and then again copy this this will be around 4200 press escape so let's add in our horizontal grid so GR or this icon and then let's add this one from here to here. I'm going to uncheck this side and I want my grid bubble to be on the left side. I'm going to change this to A. And when you change this, once you create another grid, this will be in sequence with the letters so select this and then CO to copy this will be around 4000 and then select this again and then copy you can check multiple and then this will be around 6000 and then another one, 6,000. Press escape and then escape again. So we finished creating our grid lines. Now let's create our walls. So first, I'm going to edit this type. Duplicate. This will be exterior wall number one. Press escape, press OK and then edit this will be around 300 millimeters I'm not gonna bother with materials first press OK and then OK I want it to be wall center line 
and this will be up to level 2. So now I'm going to select rectangle. So I want this one to be here up to this endpoint. Press escape and then escape again. Let's add in some interior walls. So select this wall again, edit type, duplicate. This will be interior wall number one. And then press OK. And let's change the thickness to 200. Press OK. And then OK. Now we're ready to create our wall. So this will be center line up to level 2. I'm going to select it here. And then 6000. And then let's go all the way here. So my plan is to have a laundry room here. And then there's there will be an office. And then a powder room or a washroom here. So let's again add in interior wall number one. So what you can do is you can select this. And then you can type in CS or this icon, create similar. So once you do that, you'll be able to immediately create the one that you selected. So for example, if it's exterior wall, type in CS. Now exterior wall, wall, exterior wall will be active and you can create exterior wall. So now let's escape, select interior wall, and then CS, and then let's create interior wall here. Let's change this to 2400, and then select this, CS, let's continue this up to here something like that let's change this to 1900 and this to be around Twenty eight hundred. I want a wall opening here. So let's select this. Click wall opening and select it's similar to cut. So you have this cut here. And then I want to cut it again right here. We can change this to 1200. And then press escape. And then we can move it with our arrow key. After this, we're going to add stairs right here to go to second floor. I'm going to be putting the kitchen right here. This is going to be the living room and then dining room. So let's add the doors. So go to architecture, door, and this one is for our main door. Go down and this will be for the rest. So 
So use the space bar to change orientation. Okay, something like that. Let's add in another door. Something like this. And then go back to architecture. Wall. Scroll down. And let's use curtain wall. I'm gonna add the curtain wall right here. And then right here. So that warning is saying that it's not it's not shown. So Go to Modify, and then Cut Geometry. We're going to cut this to this, and then the wall again. Choose the wall, and then the curtain wall. Let's go to 3D. And as you can see, we have our windows right here. I also want to add a curtain wall right about here. So let's go to level one again and then we could select this and CS and add a window right here. Go to Modify, Cut, select the wall, and then the correct one. Let's go to 3D again. And from here, we can drag this handles. And we could change the height and the base. Something like this. Later on, we're going to change this more. So for now, we could use Align and align it the same way as this one. So this plane to this plane. Press OK, press Escape, and then let's go back to level 1. And let's, I'm going to finish the video right about here. We did a lot of progress. We added the grids, we added the walls, exterior, interior, doors, and windows. In the next video, we're going to go to level 2. And we're going to add in the walls there, doors, and windows. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.